What's up guys? So today I want to talk to you about how to overcome your fears. Now what you have to realize is your fears are nothing but negative thoughts. Thoughts that don't line up with the God's word. And so what you have to do is whenever you get a thought that comes to your head that does not line up with God's word, you have to kick it out. And by kicking it out, I mean not allowing it to sit in your mind, not allowing yourself to think about it. And so one of the things we have to start out talking about right at the beginning is you're gonna to have to get familiar with what God's word says about whatever situation it is that you're having fear about or this negative thinking. Okay, so the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So power, love, and a sound mind. That word sound means calm and well-balanced. God has given us a calm, well-balanced mind, and that is the state that our mind should be in all the time. If something comes in your mind that is causing you to be upset, that is not something that God wants you to be thinking about. Now, and it's also something that is not true because God's word is truth. Jesus said that my word is truth. So if it's something that's causing you uh, some distress in your mind, you need to find out what God's word says about it first. Search the Bible, go to the back of the book, uh, look up in the index, find out what the Bible says about whatever situation it is. Um, Google it on the internet. Find out scriptures that talk about what it is that you are having some doubt about. Once you find those scriptures, begin to meditate on those scriptures. Meditation means it's based. So, what are you doing when you're fearing about something when you're worrying about something you're meditating on the wrong things your mind is going over this wrong lie from the devil over and over about whatever circumstance it is or a thought or issue it is that you're having fear about you're going over it and over it in your mind it's making you worry uh, it's making you feel upset and what you got to do is you got to do the opposite you have to meditate and ponder and think on what the Bible says about that issue. So if say you have a fear of elevators, well the Bible says, uh, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And then you look up scriptures that say, now the Lord of peace himself gives me peace at all times and in every circumstance and in every way, whatever circumstance comes. Look it up in uh, Amplified Version, you see that God gives me peace at all times and in all conditions. So, well, so you got to say to yourself as you meditate and ponder on it, well, an elevator is a condition that I can be in. I can be in the elevator, and the Bible says I'm peaceful in all conditions. That means I'm peaceful then. Okay, so in pondering it, so that means, well, how does that affect me? Okay, so if that word were true, and it is, that means that when I'm in elevators, I'm peaceful, I'm relaxed, I'm calm. I look up what the word peace means, tranquil, tranquil serene. And okay, that's how I'm supposed to feel. So then I just close my eyes and think, okay, and I picture myself going in the elevator or going on an airplane or going to the job interview or whatever it is that gets you anxious or worried and you meditate on it and you speak it. So first of all, you find the scripture or scriptures, whatever jumps out to you, that's the one that's for you. That's the one that God is speaking to you. It's the rhema word for you. Okay, so there may be multiple scriptures talking about that, but God specifically speaks that one to you. That's the one you meditate on. Okay, he's breaking it down to you. He's like, yep, your spirit's like, yeah, that's, that's the one I want. You meditate on it. You see yourself doing what the Bible says uh, you can do and how you're supposed to feel. You meditate on it. You speak it out loud. You say, I'm peaceful at all times and in every circumstance. I'm peaceful in whatever circumstance uh, you may feel unrest in, you know, that causes your mind to be uneasy, okay? Whatever's disrupting your mind, you start to meditate on the opposite, meditate on what God's Word says. And the Bible says that God's Word is powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. God's Word is anointed. Anointing means the burden-removing, yoke-destroying power that will heal that issue. The Bible says that my words are health to all your flesh. When you meditate on God's powerful, life-giving words, it melts away that fear, it removes the burden of doubt, and it gets you to be really who you are. 
which is having a sound, calm, well-balanced mind. So not only do you speak it, but then you have to get up and do it. You have to get some action to those thoughts and to that word that you're speaking. And once you have spent some time meditating on it, speaking it over yourself, repetition is key, then you'll have the power to go ahead and do it. And once you do it and have victory over it, those doubts no longer have any pull on you because you see from God's word that God's word works. You see from the experience that God word, God's word works and you have the victory and you have the testimony. That's what you do. And until you have the total victory, you keep repeating steps two and three, which is meditating on the word and speaking it. It transforms you and you will be a changed person. You'll go from shy to bold, scared to peaceful, and you will find the joy that God has given to you by the freedom that is in his word. Do it.